All right, guys, here we got a standard block of clear ballistics, ballistics gelatin in the mold. It's been remelted. You can tell uh, there's some of the old tracks from the chunks that I didn't wash out good enough, I guess. Uh, water and ballistics, clear ballistics don't mix. So uh, anyway, this is a learning process, and I don't think it really affects the outcome but anyway what we have for you today is a ballistics gel test with some hand-loaded 308 Winchester 208 grain Amax and we've got a average muzzle, muzzle velocity of 2550 feet per second that is generating 2,889 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. We're going to tag this block at 500 yards. All right, here's a close-up of the block under the lights. You can see the uh, wound track pretty severe and uh, started pretty quick too. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to grab my calipers here as a reference. You can see that we got expansion starting right around two inches and it runs oh wait, let's start this down here on this one sorry I got two wound tracks because the first one was high two inches on the expansion where it starts and it runs all the way down to about where it exited the block and this is a 16 inch block. It exited about two inches from the end. So that is a full 12 inches of uh, ripping and tearing and uh, violence happening in there. Uh, there's quite a bit of fragmentation. You can see the, uh, the wound track is about an inch and three quarters at its widest. And remember, this, this impact occurred at 500 yards. That's pretty, that's pretty good. So now I'm kind of interested to see what would happen if I tagged it from a little bit closer. Here's kind of an under look, look from underneath it anyway. Uh, you can say right here, the widest point almost two inches permanent cavity destruction and you see here are my test BBs I got a new BB gun I was trying to figure out what was what but anyway uh, they, I got them finally be about three inches eight pumps and I'm assuming that I'm measuring to the longest point not where they sprung back to because they penetrated that far and then were pulled back so anyway uh, if I'm wrong I'm wrong but that doesn't happen very often so anyway three inches of penetration 177 cal BB and this is what a 208 grain AMAX looks like passing through clear ballistics 
gelatin at 500 yards.